Hey, how's it going guys? It is Fox90 here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of my road to Mercedes here on the channel. If you guys are enjoying today's video, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new around here as well. Let's get straight into the road to Mercedes then. So, as you can see, we're here on the emails and a bit of a shock actually. And it's this. As you may have heard, Kimi Raikkonen has held a press conference with their agent this morning announcing their decision to retire from F1. Now this may not seem like a crazy thing, be it or not, you know, we've seen it in games in the past. What makes this quite insane is that Sebastian Vettel has also, in the previous episode, or maybe two episodes ago, announced his retirement. So this is the first time I've ever seen a second driver in the same season announcing their retirement. But it is happening. Heading into this weekend, we've got a lot of upgrades on the car. Two for the engine, one for the chassis. Uh, so we're looking in good businesses, obviously. Um, I won't have the objectives on screen for today, um, but we are currently just need to get one more Q3 appearance and get out of Q1 two more times for the rest of this season in which we have got uh, this amount of races to do it in. So we've got the Russian Grand Prix, Singapore, Japan, USA, Mexico, Brazil, Australia, and Abu Dhabi in order to get a drive at Aston Martin for next season. If we cannot get out of Q1 two more times and get into Q3, we won't get a drive and we have to stick in this Williams car. And I don't want to do that. So we move. That's why we're constantly piling on some upgrades. But we're now going to go and see. As you can see, we've got plenty of stuff in the pipeline. Looking at the progress history, then Mercedes take a big leap forward uh, with upgrades. McLaren are now in front of Red Bull. Aston Martin and Ferrari are on top of each other. Alpine just ahead of Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tsari. Aston, meanwhile, still gradually closing, but our upgrades are just taking too long to get onto the car. But I can't change that, so it is what it is. So, uh... Yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we stand. We're now going to get straight into practice. Uh, and then I will see you guys for qualifying uh, for the Russian Grand Prix. Can I? Oh, I can't change my engine components there. That's great. We'll have to change these to do these. They really need to fix this actually in practice. Um, when you do the quick, the quick sim or whatever it is for practice, that, it just destroys your components. Like you literally gain like 25% worth of wear for no apparent reason whatsoever, and it's just a pain in the backside to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, for the next game, they can seriously go ahead and adjust that because it's just plain ridiculous. Um, we'll try that. I doubt we'll even get on the car, but yeah, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go, 25% success, and I'm still able to do it. Not a brilliant lap, I'll be honest with you. We definitely lost a lot of time on the on the lap. How much fuel have we got on tyres? We'll go out again just to keep the momentum flowing. That's a really tidy lap. That's a really tidy lap. I'll tell you what, right? A lot of people, everyone pretty much hates the Russian Grand Prix, whether you're driving the track and car in game or whether you're uh, watching it as an actual race. <clears throat> what I will say, right, I actually thoroughly enjoy uh, this circuit. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I really like it. Um, ha huh? We were P8. I'm sorry, what? How was I 8th fastest to get... Right, okay. Well, I mean, I've got... <clears throat> Excuse me, I got out of Q1, which means we only need to get out of Q1 one more time in this season. If we can get a Q3 appearance, then holy crap, we have set ourselves up beautifully for the rest of the season to get an Aston Martin drive. Not get ahead of ourselves, but oh, this is getting a little bit naughty. Right, so there we go. There's our first lap then on a used set of soft tyres. Um, plenty of time still to find. Obviously, we made a few mistakes as well. So, good banker to get in there. Good banker. Up here, or we're out of qualifying. Please tell me that was enough to get through into Q3. Please. That was a fucking awesome lap as well. <laughs> what did that get us? 
Come on, show me the good qualities. Oh. Right, well. <laughs> that certainly got us into Q3, didn't it? Wow. Okay, we uh, well we actually yeah, we actually smashed that. We we we've, we've actually royally smashed that. Like we were, I was not expecting to be P4. I love this voice at the same time as science. Look, yo, pick up science on myself. Set and save lap time. My geez, um, I was I was not expecting that. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Russia is one of the most satisfying tracks to drive on this game. I'm just gonna put it straight out there. I don't even care what people think of me. Um, P3, four, sorry. I highly doubt I'm going to beat that in Q3, but we're going to give it our best shot to try and get our best quality of the season. Well, there we go then. It wasn't actually as quick as my Q2 lap, which was a bit of a shame there. Um, I think we only... I think we set 29-1 in Q2. I think if we put it in perspective, everyone just turned up the wick way too much in Q3 because... We set 29-1, and I think a 28-9 here by Leclerc was the quickest time in Q2. All of a sudden now, a 28-3 was the fastest time in Q3. So, we lost time. I only did one run. Maybe if I did another banker run and then did my last lap, it would have helped a bit more. Um, but it is what it is. We're starting P10. Crucially, though, we got through into Q3. We only need to get out of Q1 now one more time throughout the rest of the season. We've done our Q3 objectives now to get an Aston Martin drive. What do you I'm want? Sure you select. What do you actually want? I don't know. There's quite a buzz around this team at the moment. Um, concentrate about me, faggot. The R&D team has been working non-stop this Yeah, they've been, they've been pretty it's sexy, you get me. Um, yeah, especially the arrow, because that part's Appreciate crap, so I'd rather just suck him off for a little bit, you know, get a cheeky bit of morale going, you know what I'm saying? Welcome one and all to today's Grand Prix here in southern Russia. A beautiful location besides the Black Sea, and a race that has historically been dominated by the Silver Arrows. Mercedes have won here six times since the first race in 2014. Can someone else muscle in on that record here today? It's full throttle for around 56% of the lap here at the Sochi Autodrome, a 3.6 mile run around the site of the 2014 Winter Olympics. 12 right turns and six left turns give us a total Total count of 18 with passing opportunities available into turns 1 and 13. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today but I'm curious as a man with experience out on the track how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid. But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Perez, Verstappen, Vettel and Thomas, Gasly, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, and Ocon, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, George Russell, and Nikita Mazepin, Stroll, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? I don't know who's going to come out on top, but all I care about is the fact that we got a brilliant qualifying session in. So we're going to go with, there's a lot of fuel to put on board. We'll go with a standard one and a half laps of fuel, uh, and we're pretty much going to go from there. It's a long drag down towards turn two, so let's see what we can do there. It's the five red lights. Come on now, for this Russian Grand Prix. Here we go. Oh, your lights have gone out saucily. That's actually a shit start for me. That's a bit of a pain. I'm trying to just fend off against uh, Gazi, I think it is, that wants to run at me in towards the first corner. I'm going to pair myself here. Boom. I knew those places would come. 
bish bash posh. Right, we've got to get on with it now. A lot of work to do. Good start, though. Okay, some information on signs. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. That's actually big. Sykes is behind us right now. So he's going to hold up the traffic. Which is brilliant. As for me, meanwhile, I was about to give an update on what was the progress was going, but... Gap to teammate now that's come through. That kind of helps me a little bit. Um, Bossass is closing... I'm not going to give you an update, because my controller batteries have just died. Let me get a rip for the controller batteries, by the way. Poor things. Nah, I've just lost DRS of Leclerc now. This is going to make this race very difficult. Perez now fancies a run here towards turn one. I'm going to cut that off. I mean, we're boxing this lap anyway, so that's good. But I need these guys to battle to get back into DRS again. Otherwise, it's curtains. I'm actually going to let Perez go here. It's the smart thing to do. Let him go. Let him chase after Leclerc. Okay, I'll try and nick his DRS. Right, here we come then for our one and only stop onto a set of the medium compound tyres. Is that Lewis getting held in pits there? It was, yeah. So he gets held then a little bit, which is nice. Hopefully, some of the other drivers get held a little bit as well, just to try and give us a benefit here. By the looks of it, they're not going to be, which is a bit of a shame there. Hopefully, we can get a good stop from the boys. Go, go, go. Not too You'll bad there. The we can Complete. work with that. Bit of clean air as well, which is good. I mean, the clutch straight in front of us, but like us. You know what I mean? Speed now. Okay, we'll work with this. We need to get back into the DRS range, though, if we can. Right, it's going to be really tough, though. Let's just see where we feed out when the driver's behind us pit. Yellow flag. Caution. Caution. Who's that for? Oh, it's for Hamilton. Lewis is out. There he goes. Slow it down. Green flag. See you out of this race, mate. Don't bring out a safety car. I swear to God, that'll fuck me over. It didn't, but that's an extra position. So the undercut has actually worked beautifully because we got overtaken by Perez. We're now one and a half seconds clear of him. But what is also a good big concern that we have to bear in mind. First of all, we don't have DRS the cars in front. Secondly, I've got two Red Bulls on my ass. Thirdly, I've just gone really wide there. Same as before. Going to let Sergio go. Going to let him carry on with it. I want to just try and stick in his DRS, basically. If possible. Don't know if it will be, though. It's a Red Bull that we're looking at here. Why am I being so optimistic? Right, I'm draining the battery for this now. Yeah, I'm going for it. Is 19. Paris is draining his too. I'm diving it. There you go. Job done. Oh, he's coming back at me. That's where he's draining his battery as well. You sod. Still going for it. Oh, he's brilliant fighting this. Someone's going to have to yield. Lovely fight. I love that. Now we need to... Oh, well, your DRS is offline. Well, the rear wing is down, so you can stay well, that's out not help. work on a fix. Perez has really whacked up the mower now. Might be impossible to stay in front. Mm, this is not going to be good, especially if I don't have DRS. We're on attack, back. I should not have even attempted that move. And I've just lost time now. That was clumsy of me. I just, yeah, I got way too desperate then. Should have been smart about it. Now I've got to try and defend against Verstappen. I can't get Perez anymore because I'm not in DRS range. This is your I am, man. but I've lost the RS, so it means nothing. And the AIs are going to turn up the wick now as well. Fuck's sake. Right. Let's just protect ourselves from Max here. And towards turn one. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. This is it. Here comes Max. All I've got left. Oh, I think we got him. Yeah, we're alright. Just keep it calm and collected now for this last part of the lap. And we'll have a P7. P6 even, I've just realised. What's as fast as that? And he wins. For us, though. 
is going to be a competitive P6 in the Williams beating Verstappen. Let's go. Right, so here we are then. And as you can see, Bottas wins the Grand Prix ahead of Norris and then Ricardo. Next is then Leclerc ahead of Perez and then ourselves. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite circuits to drive on the calendar so far. I'm not, I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm being serious. I mean that, and I, I do. Verstappen finishes in seventh ahead of Gasly, Vettel, and then Sonoda. Crucially, we scored eight points. Avatari scored five, so we still pull away from them, which we'll see in the constructors in just a moment's time. I'm not on the standings. That's probably why. Uh, Drivers' Championship, Hamilton's lead has now shrunk to 18 points after Bottas picks up a fastest lap victory, and Hamilton fails to score. Bottas uh, is second, with uh, Norris third ahead of Ricciardo and fourth. Verstappen is fifth with Leclerc sixth, Perez is seventh, uh, and then it's Vettel and eighth. We're ninth in the championship ahead of Gasly, who moves in front of Stroll. Constructors Championship, uh, Mercedes are 130, 126 points clear of McLaren. Red Bull are 207 points. Ferrari are 135 with Aston Martin on 116. We are on 68 points, and Alpha Tauri are on 50 points. So we hold an 18 point lead against Alpha Tauri in the Constructors Championship. Alpine and Haas. Still only scored two on a point each, which is kind of weird. But there we go. That's it for the Russian Grand Prix. Let's get into the laptop and make upgrades. Oh, you... F <sighs> if you're wondering why I'm annoyed, this is why. Our major upgrade for the aerodynamics has failed. And it means now I have to wait until after the Japanese Grand Prix for that upgrade to come onto the car. Honestly, it just takes the fucking piss. It really does. Um, I guess I'll just... Do I even bother trying to make upgrades? Or do I just wait and see if anything fails? To be honest, it won't even make it onto the car anyway for the weekend. So, I might as well just leave it at that. Right, where can, where can we upgrade then? Another two weeks now. We've got to wait for that upgrade to come onto the car. I can't do anything on the aero. On the chassis, we could... Oh, we can't do anything until the monocoque. You know, I can't even do the hydraulics either. Engine. I can't do anything on the engine. That's ERS. So I think we might as well do some work on the ERS. Try and help it recover a bit better. I can't do anything else with upgrades. Uh, so we'll now skip forwards to the end of... That's actually a general wear. I know we were expecting some new developments to go through. But some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Do you know what, mate? Stop even telling me about this stuff and go and shove a fucking finger up your ass and find out how it feels, for Christ's sake. <sighs> right, let's go to Aero then. Our major, major weight reduction upgrade has also failed. And I don't even have the resource points to fix the bloody thing. And it would have put us right on terms with Alpine. And I really wanted that upgrade to come in. Specifically because it would have been massive uh, for especially Japan uh, for moving forwards. But unfortunately, this fucking team is useless. Guys, that is going to wrap it up for what was a great episode turned sour. Um, if you have enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe if you're not here as well. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.